Just give me one second. I want to take my trusty cod liver oil pill that I got for Christmas. Yes, I requested this as a Christmas gift. I thought, hey, let me ask for something that I really want. These are not cheap. So, yes. Anyway, if you are new here, thank you so much for tuning in. If you don't stay, mm, no hard feelings. If you do decide to stay, hit that subscribe button. That would make my day. Talk about my new conch piercing. I don't know how everybody else pronounces it, but that's how I pronounce it. Excuse my lipstick. It sort of looks a little strange. I layered it and it looks like this weird funky color. But anyway, um, yeah, I got this done yesterday. I think that it looks awesome. They did it with like a big, a big CZ piece. And here is the back. It's just like a regular bar with the with the bulb thing on the back every single time i was watching any of these videos i was like how much did it hurt if you really want this piercing do not let any of the pain make you not want to get it because guess what i love mine and it did not hurt that bad i, I everybody gives like a pain scale of like what one to ten and people are like oh i think it's like a three or i think it's a four or i think it's a six i want to describe it to you like a little bit differently so essentially it's just this feeling of like a pinch when they first like start to stick it through and then it sort of has this weird heat sensation and it's so quick you wouldn't even if you get somebody that's fast and easy will not feel pain for anything more than a second and it is so like quick it's just if anything it's more pressure of that type of dull pain not that like sharp ah, I'm getting stabbed type of pain very brief so if you really want this piercing, I would not let the pain um, discourage you. I would completely still go get it. Uh, I got mine pierced at Warriors here in Philadelphia. The guy's name was Brian. He was awesome. He had beautiful piercings on his, um, each one on his nose and underneath here. They were gorgeous. They were custom gold face. I was like, do you guys have that here? Because if so, I would consider getting my nose sort of re-pierced. But it was like custom order and all this and they were probably expensive as hell. Um, the pain I would describe after is a throbbing type of situation. I did feel it off and on all day. Mine got like a little bit crusty like with blood but I cleaned that out last night. I had taken a shower today and cleaned it again. It hurts a little bit. I'm going to insert a vlog of me like right after I got it done. Probably in a minute because they would not allow you to film in there. So I filmed as soon as I got back in my car. So I just got the piercing done. There it is. I think it looks gorgeous. I'm loving it. I gotta get some other jewelry from my top. It hurt, but like a pinch. It, it was not painful in the sense that you would think it was. It pinched and it was so quick and I feel like my other piercings have hurt more. I feel like the, I feel like the upper cartilage probably hurt more than that. And my belly button ring probably hurt more than that. But, um, yeah, that was an easy piercing. I would consider going and getting the other side done, but they said that you might want to just chill on one for a while until the other one, until this one would heal up and so you have something to sleep on. So, I love it. I think it's beautiful. I was hesitant because I wasn't sure what kind of jewelry they were going to offer, but that's perfect for me. It's a little sore. I can feel it already sort of throbbing, but it's nothing that would deter me from going and getting the other one pierced. All right. Yeah, sleeping on it, you can, it's not easy to sleep on it. I slept on my other ear. That's why they say you should not probably get them at the same time because your ears will be painful and you won't be able to sleep comfortably. If I was considering getting the other one, I would get that probably a good six months out once it's healed or whatever and plus two i think i have like custom jewelry that i want to get i wanted to get like the three diamond thingy and i actually just ordered a custom not custom but a nice piece of jewelry for up here that's really beautiful oh i do i have hit it a couple times and it's painful um i can insert a clip of yesterday I was filming an update for foundation um i actually hit my ear and this was the reaction hey oh son of a it's not really like this terrible pain but it's you know it's you just got your ear pierced it's exactly what it feels like if you have any other piercing same type of reaction that your body's having to heal 
Cleaning it for me is easy. They gave me a bar of soap. I'm going to be doing it with the soap and with a Q-tip, so that's easy enough. I already did that last night. And I've had other piercings, so it's nothing that is new or foreign to me. I've had my tongue pierced. I've had my nose pierced. I've had, I have my belly button pierced. I've had, um, I have two piercings here. I actually have three piercings here, but I don't have that one in. And I have a cartilage piercing up here, and then I have another piercing on the top of that with just a regular, you know, um, needle. So, um, I'm no stranger to piercings and tattoos, etc. If you're looking to get this piercing, I highly recommend it. I think that it's a beautiful piercing. You can do a lot of different things with the jewelry. It looks really cool. Um, I'm glad that I did it. I'm prepared for it to be sore and for you to have to sleep on the other side. And that would probably be all, you know, and be prepared to clean it. Everybody's body reacts differently. So you might not get a ton of crusties. You might get a ton of crusties. It all depends. People also dip their ear um, in like a salt solution or I could get like salt spray and spray it with that, which I might end up doing just for ease. Hey, I, wanna, I also wanted to throw in a three-day update. I got this pierced on Friday and it is now Sunday. Um done on Friday it is now Sunday I guess like two and a half days whatever you want to call it and my ear feels all right it hurts once in a while uh, if I hit it I hit it today and it, it hurt um, but other than that it's been totally fine and I haven't gotten any crusties on it which is weird like I would have thought that it would have been like crusting up or something I haven't gotten any crusties on it yet uh, I have still been cleaning it even though there's no crusties but I just haven't noticed anything it's just been normal it's a little sore but it hasn't been oozing blood or crusties or none of that stuff so as of right now I'm feeling pretty good about it so I wanted to get back on here because I totally forgot to talk about the part where I discuss the actual alternative if you are looking to get a piercing and don't want to go through the pain but you still aesthetically like the way it looks these earrings uh icing I think it's called it's like a Claire's type of store. These are magnetic earrings. So they look like that in the front and then they have these little magnet these little magnets on the back. What the hell? If you wanted to have this kind of look in your ear, I would go with one of these smaller, the smaller studs. Simply place that in your ear like so. And then what happens is the on the back with that little other flat disc and it legit looks just like the other one and you don't have to go through the pain of getting it pierced or the pain of actually dealing with it afterwards that is a fantastic alternative up close I cannot tell the difference at all I'm sure you cannot tell the difference on camera so if you're looking for the piercing and you don't want to commit to it, but you want to have fun and play with something um, a little bit different in your ears, I think these magnetic earrings are a perfect option. I'm sure you could pick them up anywhere on the internet as well, and you could probably pick up stronger ones, I would, I would assume. And these come with like little flowers, so you could do that instead, and pearls if you wanted to do those as an alternative. So I just wanted to share this with everybody because I thought it was a really cool idea and especially if you like the thought of wanting to get that pierced but don't want to go through all the aggravation of it. There's not much of a difference other than remembering to take it out at night, I'm sure, because you don't want it to fall off and lose it because the thing is these pieces are very small. Hope everybody enjoyed this. Until next time, guys. Mwah.